DBS Bank is the largest bank in Southeast Asia. In July, DBS won an award as the world's best digital bank. I've been to Singapore, I, I've sat with them, I've seen their testing, I've seen their pipelines. They're doing things as, as advanced as anyone you're gonna find in, in Silicon Valley. Uh, our next speaker has played a major part in, in their success, building that team, building those roles. So please welcome to the stage, Managing Director, Group Head of the Consumer Banking, Big Data and Artificial Intelligence, Sue Chu So. Warm round of applause for Sue, thank you. Hi, good morning, everyone. How's your mo morning been? Any response? Some feedback, please. So, quick show of hands. How many of you know where Singapore is on the world map? Show of hands. Oh, less than 5%. <laughs> quick hint. That's the city where President Trump met uh, Kim Jong-un back in uh, June. Hint number two. Any of you watched the movie Crazy Rich Asians recently? <laughs> Only one? <laughs> so in, in that city, we have quite a few of the Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> okay, so now that you know a little bit uh, about Singapore, I'm ready to talk to you more about DBS and what we do at DBS. Formerly known as the Development Bank of Singapore, these days we would like to be known as the, as the Digital Bank of Singapore. So DBS is one of the leading financial institutions in Asia. We are the biggest uh, bank in Southeast Asia, biggest in Singapore. We have more than 50% of the market share in Singapore. This year, we have been voted as the uh, best dig digital bank by Euromoney. That is uh, second time in, in three years. One of our top mission is actually to become a 22,000 people startup. What we want is for the 22,000 employees that we have to move at the speed of a startup. And that is the culture that we have been uh, truly embarking upon. We believe that our biggest competitors are not the other banks. Uh, they are not the fintech, but uh, they are the tech fins, who are the big technology companies who are entering the financial space. We think that in order to compete with them, we need to completely reimagine banking. We want to make banking seamless, simple, invisible, such that our customer can spend more of their time living rather than banking. We, we are the bank who wants you to live more, bank less. Ironic that it might sound coming from a bank, uh, that is our new motto. And in order to do that, we believe that we have to fundamentally re-architect our infrastructure as well as application to one of cloud native. We started our digital transformation about four years ago when we started to observe that our customers are spending more and more of their time on the digital channel. Our board took a view that the future for us as well as for our industries are shifting to the digital and we felt that in order to be relevant, we need to take the lead in terms of becoming digital. So with this mandate, we started to insource our technology, everything that we build and support from 85% being outsourced to 85% being insourced within 18 months within the bank. That was in year 2015. Once we have acquired the deep tech talent, we started to look at our architecture. So we have a lot of packages that we bought from everywhere. We have a lot of monolith uh, within the bank. We look at how we can start to convert this monolith into things that, is, that are more nimble, into microservices. We also started to look at how we can transform the way we work from the waterfall method into the agile uh, way of working. We also engage pivotal labs to, to help us to transform how we build software. We started to embed TDD as well as pair programming into how we work. In addition, we have also started to look at Pivotal Cloud Foundry back in 2016 to build some of the services we are creating from scratch. In 2017, we start to replicate the platform as well as the practice across the entire bank to other departments. And this year, we take this thing one step further by bringing the business and the IT closer to each other, removing all the silos between the two departments and making them as one into what we call a platform 
organization. And this is a fundamental change that we believe will make us a true digital bank. In our transformation, we want to create technology that is flexible to support the changing needs of our clients. We want to reimagine the customer's journey as well as to create the great user experience. At the same time, we make sure that quality, security, controls are systematically enforced through automation in our CI-CD pipelines. Most importantly, we want our developers to spend their time building business functionalities rather than dealing with infrastructure. So the leverage of a platform as a service as well as framework is very, very important for us. We chose Pivotal Cloud Foundry back in 2016 as one of our key enablers in our digital transformation. With PCF, we have witnessed faster time to market, up to six times improvement in terms of getting a major release to the market. It has been reduced from six months to one month in terms of major releases. For the release cadence, we have seen 10 times improvement in terms of speed and six times reduction in terms of effort. In addition to that, we have also enabled self-provisioning of infrastructure for our developers. And most imp importantly, something that we are pretty proud of is that in the two and a half years we have been having Cloud Foundry in production, we have had zero downtime. That is a track record that we want to continue to maintain. So as an example of a capability we built on PCF, last year we launched the world, world's biggest banking API portal. Then this portal and the API behind that is built on PCF. Today, we have more than 200 plus live API, and we have onboarded more than 60 plus live partners. This is part of our foray into open banking. It's a phenomenon that is going around in all the financial industry. And this enables others to experiment the use cases using our API as well as the bank's data. Underpinning all of this transformation is a very focused agenda on sourcing and attracting modern tech talents. We had to transform the way we work as well as the way we hire. For this, we launched Hack to Hire. It is a unique hackathon aimed at recruitment. And last year, we partnered with Pivotal, amongst all our other partners, to launch this hackathon across Singapore and India. Hack to Hire actually is a four-step hiring process. It starts with an applicant taking an online coding test on HackerRank. It is a technology challenge. From the results of the coding test, we filtered the people, and we invite more than 300 to the hackathon uh, last year. They are grouped into teams of five to six people, where they will work on the challenge of their choice. Each of the team is assigned a mentor from DBS to support them, as well as to observe how they work throughout the whole two-day event of the hackathon. Although we give out great prizes for the top winner of the challenge, the real price of the hackathon is a job offer. Hack to Hire has proven to be a very effective approach for us to acquire diverse talents from different backgrounds and industry. And that is something that we, we always wanted to have to make sure that the talents within the bank not only come from the banking industry, but more importantly, from other industry that is non-bank. We saw participants from startup, from the gaming industry, from academia, from telecoms and governments apart from banks. And we welcome all of these participants to be part of the, the bank uh, any, any, any day that uh, we, we are here. We have a very holistic view of the participants uh, during the whole two, two days. You get to see how they perform under stress, uh, when they are tired, and they, when they have to work with new people and strangers that they only just met for completing the, the, the challenge during the hackathon. The applicants also get to interact with the bank employees and learn about the culture of the black bank, the people, and the work that you get to do at the bank. So it is a big mutual understanding event, and this actually helps us to gain a better understanding before we sign up to, to be the employee and employee of each other. Apart from that, it was an extremely fun event for all of us. Two years into the program, we, we have had great success. The Hack to Hire cohort that has been there in the bank has excelled in every manner. And we continue to be very amazed by the impact that they have made for what we are doing at the bank. With that, I want to thank my team 
for believing in the journey and for sticking to, to the dream, as well as the Pivotal A APJ team for always supporting us. And lastly, I would like to thank you for listening to our story. And finally, I leave you with the message that uh, we are still hiring. So contact us if you want to hear more. Thank you. Thank you.